Okay, just a quick and nasty video. This is going to be, uh, it's really just an internal communications. I sometimes do these because uh, pictures mean more than a million words and they normally are uh, done privately or unlisted, but uh, this is a special video directed to uh, Mr. Steve, 3SL, about some uh, 160 uh, meters, solid state FM meters. So there'll be no production values, nothing. This is just uh, purely uh, industrial video, I suppose. So, uh, Mr. Steve, I've been working a bit on uh, a 160 meter FM uh, solid state meters, and it might be very useful for your uh, your program material. And uh, I've been working on uh, the Codan mo Codan module here, and it's working quite well. I'm getting 100 watts. Uh, seems to be quite cool if you've got a fan blowing it all the time. And it may have a bit, I don't know, I've looked at the SDRs, doesn't seem to be any uh, spuriouses going anywhere. Maybe um, what I was thinking, possibly you could uh, have a lend of it and see how your um, transmissions come through on FM. I think that'd be really great. It'd be worthwhile to try it out, I suppose. And uh, so it's something small, although I think it does take 20 amps, so the power supply might be a bit bigger. I've got something I could uh, uh, lend you as well. So let, let's have a look at what I've done. Okay, we have the unit here. It's uh, got two MRF421s. Uh, so they're, they're quite a high power transistor. I think 12 amps each or something. Uh, they don't seem to pop. I think they're running pretty close to uh, <laughs> to burnout uh, the way I'm using them here. But you can push them. I think they're being pushed into Class C uh, to shove a lot of uh, uh, RF into the thing there. I know you haven't uh, been able to find a decent uh, signal generator, but uh, you could possibly borrow my secondary one here because I normally use the Marconi one now because it is, is a better machine, although uh, this one has got its attributes as two uh, attributes as well. It's got a nice green readout, which is one thing, and a little meter you can read the modulation and uh, deviation. Now if I turn up here, the dB is below 1 microvolties. Starts to draw a lot of current. And you can see here the power goes up quite nicely to uh, 100 watts. Probably got more because a little bit of uh, a few wires uh, with some ohmic resistance on the 12 volt line. A bit of uh, high SWI doesn't seem to worry it too much. So that's not too bad. It's running the same power as my big meters actually. If you look at the RF amp meter what I normally use on the, uh, the 807 one and the, the big meters. And this is what it sounded like off um, KHZ's SDR. When the rec ancient records of the appearance of the great Leonid shower were examined, it was found the date of their occurrence now my antenna is fairly uh, sharply tuned as you know being a top loaded vertical uh, you might need to uh, put a tuner in yours just to cut out those harmonics if they're there i'm not sure you can certainly have a look on the sdr that's close to you and see what uh, if there's anything coming out but i think it's uh it's probably not the cleanest thing but uh with a bit of tuning in the antenna circuit should be okay anyway this is really great uh something 100 watts uh, for fm on uh, on 160 meters now you could probably uh, send use it as linear on AM, but you only get about 20 watts out of it. And I have tried, I have had tried to modulate these and use them as AM meters, but it doesn't seem to work very well. But FM, of course, is fine. It doesn't really matter too much as long as it's uh, it's putting out the power. It can deviate, and that's fine. So uh, that's great. Maybe um, I've got to set up it properly and do a bit more more work on it. But it looks a goer. So I'll contact you a bit later on and see if it's. Uh, I'll run it for a few hours tonight on air. And if it pops, well, well and good. But if it doesn't, well, it might be a goer. And uh, I've got a few of these units, so it should, could be uh, could be quite fun. Okay, um, and all the people watching this, it's uh, our low quality video. Maybe it'll get good ratings. Who knows? So um, we'll catch you next time.